What's up guys? Ice Boy here. So in this video, I'm going to slam some shit. This right here is Spy Dog Ali. That's right. He's playing as a paladin right now. Wadu Heck is his name, 94. Holy shit. Hand of Justice. Damn, damn. Yep, he's a true toad. He's a true toad indeed. I haven't seen him do nothing yet, but uh, you can just tell by his gear. He's a he's absolute toad. So nonetheless, this is my new necromancer, Ice Hog or Hog Man rather, and I decided to make another one because I didn't want to respect my level ninety necromancer again. I went Poison Nova, of course, but I got sick of that shit. I missed. All my hombres. I missed my skeletal army. I just... I don't know, man. It's it's nice how they go around and just whack the shit out of everything. So... I'm, I'm making a new Necro. And I gave him all the summon GCs. I gave him just all this cheap gear. Because I have all my summon Necro gear. I had it all on a mule. But anyway. Oh! Look at this. So, this is a... Uh, this is a true collector's item right here. Oh, fuck. But of course, in PD2, it no longer casts Decrepify on kill. It casts Amp Damage, rather. But Decrepify has been fucked up the ass in Diablo 2, Project Diablo 2 mod. Because it no longer breaks uh, physical immunities, it just slows them down. That's all it does. 10% FHR. Pretty shitty mod. Ghoul Hide. Godly gloves. Godly gloves for undead. Pierce on that. Pierce on that cute little toad. A 10 DR Verdongo. I want to see that axe. Yeah, I don't know if that axe. Does that. A oh, shit. Amaras? I don't know if that axe has uh, damage based on character level. I should have double checked. Oh, that's right. I'm going to slam my homo as well in a minute here. Another ghoul hide. He must like that. Yeah, nice, nice paladin. 40 life on ghoul hide. Godly for mapping. I almost want to see that shit. Um, don't they like... Uh, don't they run around and burn shit with their fire aura or whatnot? Storm shields. Oh! Too many fire immunes, huh? Where? Too many fire immunes where? Godly for mapping, he says. I just said, how's your pally? <laughs> I'm probably a cast sanctuary or something. All right, but anyway, here's a two scale lid list. Oh, and it's six mana per kill. Absolute Toad. Yeah, Lidless is kind of the go-to shield now for a lot of characters in PD2 Season 2. Uh, because Spirit Shield only uh, gives one to all skills now. It's been nerfed in a few other ways. But it does have less requirements. So it's very nice. Too many fire means all over. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder, how does he do with fire immunes? Does he slap him around with Hand of Justice? Doesn't that do okay against him? Oh! Oh, okay. Maybe that's how he deals with them. Interesting. I'm not quite sure how Sanctuary Aura is in PD2. Yeah, okay. So these boots, there's actually an armor that gives... Uh, Sanctuary Aura in PD2. It's that Heavenly Garb, just the unique light plate. It gives like a level 1 Sanctuary Aura, so it's kind of interesting. But uh, it doesn't just automatically knock back all the undead around you like it used to in the old days in Diablo 2. 22 Crushing Blow, 20 FHR. So these are nice how they give faster run walk now. It was just annoying how these didn't give any run walk in the past. Two to all skills! Holy shit! I forgot that uh, this armor now gives that. That's interesting. 
indestructible and even more defense oh my goodness look at that defense it's indestructible and it has repair durability with the mod anti visage um, eight life leech for the women damn one socket for the women lightning skills 10 vitality that's unfortunate BK ring. I've identified so many set rings, and I still haven't found a BK ring in Season 2. Oh, all attributes. Look at this jewel I found. It's a dual damage mod jewel. It's cool. I think these can actually get up to like 28, 29 damage. Indestructible, alright. Doubly indestructible. Oh, that's a very high defense uh, Leviathan right there. Oh! It's too bad. I mean, who really benefits off that except for a mercenary? Yeah, that's a true hog. Yeah, that, that Carapace is a, is a true hog. Yeah, weird. Okay, so, oh wow, this gave some damage. And ITD. That's actually a really uh, desirable mod right there. It's a dual slam mod. You know, damage and ITD. I don't know how much damage. Did it give like 50 or more? 50%? Dual damage mod on that. 37 chances. Bye bye. 20 crushing blow. Yeah, that, that's Toad Mod. Yeah, he knows it. Uh, might even be worth a Larzak puzzle shit. Which I think can actually give four sockets in that. Puzzle for 40s would be interesting, yeah. I don't know what is the best other than that. Um... Of course, they can get up to five sockets, but shit, can't you get four with puzzle? Yeah. Okay. Puzzle gets four sockets. That's interesting, because those posts can only get five max, so you're only missing out on one socket then, when you puzzle it. As opposed to uh, a Hydro Bow Wind Force, where you can get six from slamming it but four from puzzle. So I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Can, with Grand Matron Bow, I'm almost sure there are only five sockets, there are five sockets max. I'm just gonna fucking say it. Yeah, beyond the shadow of doubt, those things are five sockets max. So, can you still get four sockets with Larzak Puzzle on that? Let me know in the comments below. Fury. Or, uh, T-Gods. Good old T God's belt. Yeah, this toad, this guy has a lot of stuff to slam. Carry Spirit Ward. Yeah, Style Point Shield. Lightsaber. Pretty poor uh, light absorb now. Th two sockets. Damn. Frostburn. Now Pierce Fire and uh, Cold Resistance. A uh, pretty shitty mana though on these ones. Three mana per kill. Interesting. That can really add up. I want this shit. Oh! 14 run walk added to it. Or no, no, 9 run walk added to it. That's right, it rolls with uh, with 45, I believe. 40's one laying around. Uh, the Boson women uh, love these gloves. Steel red. With fire rats. Holy shit. Nice. Um, an F bone hue. With only two sockets. Can't these get three? No. Maybe two's max. I, I don't recall. I think two is max for these. Or at least that's what bone hue uh, rolls with is two. Oh! Interesting. A damage mod. Yeah, that trains. I think it gained nine. 
run walk. Another dungo. God damn! Yeah, Ice Boy uh, just doesn't uh, tend to slam very well, I guess, as of late. Oh, a Maris. I want that shit. Because <laughs> uh, I brick too. Yep. I found three Maras. First time I ever found a Maras, and I found three of them within like uh, two days or something. Or three days. Or four days. Or five days max. Three within five days, all right? And I bricked two of them. Oh, nice. Look at the damage on this Widowmaker. Holy shit. So with this, uh, anyone can multi-shot and guide an arrow. I think it used to be just guided arrow. Yeah, three shells in that. Three shells in that thing. A 2-2 two -two Jalals. That's quite nice. Oh, damn. An Alibaba. Nice. It's uh, some uh, attack rating and uh, just attack rating. So I guess you don't need that shit. Uh, Mind Blast Assassin weapon right here. Of course, uh, I think it has been nerfed a little bit. Two sockets. I don't know if those can get three. I know this can get three, the Feral Claws. I don't know if the other one can. Oh! 30s. Yep, that's 30s right there. He likes these ghoul hides. What the toad? Another Endarial's Visage. Holy shit. Wow, he has a lot of goodies. Come on. Don't fuck with me now. Damn! God damn! Four Maras. Three Maras. Yep. Slam two of my own. Fuck. What bullshit. I thought I was going to be good. I just bricked an item before it. See, it doesn't even matter. Damn! Two bricked. Yep. Yeah. Now three in total. It's crazy. Uh, if you up this to Bone Visage, you can roll three sockets. Upon a slam, anyway. Larzuk Puzzle. Can it still give two sockets to a helm that Max can roll two sockets, the Larzuk Puzzle? Or is it one shy of that because it's from the puzzle and not a slam? Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys have an answer to that. I'm kind of curious. Damn, that Maras. That was a 29 Maras. All these other amulets survive. Oh, except for this one, right? Damn. One. That's unfortunate. One skill. Oh, that... So, like, the most interesting amulets are dead. Shit. Yeah, that sucks. <sighs> I mean, because I kind of wanted to use that shit. I was just, you know, I, I decided, what the hell, I'll run it by him. I don't know if he would have hooked me up or not. <sighs> but I'm just, you know, I'm a little bitter. I, I bricked two of my marrows in a row. Because I could use two, because my other, I want both my necromancers to have one. And I don't like transferring gear from one character to another. Oh, interesting. Wow, nice circlet. 20F, f uh, faster run walk. It's kind of interesting. Replenish life on there. Chance guards, 38. Uh, Movinus helm. Seems like everybody uses this belt, who's like a melee character. I think the Bozons use this belt. It's a great belt uh, for mercenaries as well. FHR. So this rolled Paladin skills. That's cool. So you can get the Lesser Fade on your Paladin. The problem is there's a lot of nice Paladin shields to uh, compete with it. 
Deadly Strike on the Tomb Raider. Another BK ring. Uh, shit poofed. Oh, a uh, High Lords. Cold Res. Damn. Crescent Moon with two skills. Cold Res. What the hell? Okay. He might have a Fire Sork. 11 Vitality. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Those res slams. They've been shitty res too. They've been cold res. Alright, Veil of Steel. Very nice helm. Uh, kind of uh, mid damage roll, unfortunately. It could be worse. High res roll. I knew that shit was going to poof. Yeah, that's like an endgame uh, Boson Helm right there. I don't know who the hell uses this. Let me know in the comments below. I guess I'll slam my Homo, because I think I have another one. Regen Mana. Raven Frost. 24 decks, okay. Halberd's Reign. 3 to Masteries. Three battle orders, wow. Uh, see, and it gives DR now. Physical damage taken reduced by 11%. Uh, gives a lot of replenished life. Pretty cool helm. A ton of AR, actually, on character level. Oh, damn. Damn. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, Ice Boy doesn't have uh, the best of luck. Holy shit, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, this guys he's probably not pleased. Yeah, nice strike though. Look at this. Wow, so it has 49% above the max damage roll. And it has ITD. Another High Lords. It's gonna poof, shit. Yup, oh, god damn. <laughs> oh, High Lord's poofed. Shit. Alright, so I have one fucking shard uh, pretty much to my name. So I'm going to slam Homo with it. Come on. 29 res. Not the greatest of res, but it's okay. It's, it's mid. Uh, wow, high defense, actually. Uh, fuck! I don't need that shit. Alright. I'll give him a shards back. Wow! A lot of nice items, but uh, unfortunately, uh, we didn't get shit out of that. So if you guys will like the damn video, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts on these matters. Which of these slams was your favoritest? Let me know in the comments below. And become a patron if you want. And to my most recent patron. May your finances be blessed. And may you have many wives. Peace be with you. Oh shit, I forgot to show you guys. And I will be adding... I got another one as of recently. So thank you, sir. May your finances be blessed. May your health and well-being prosper. And may you have many bitches. Hmm. Peace with you.